Hello and welcome to episode 17 of my informative playthrough of Pathfinder Kingmaker. Now this is a very special episode because we are finally going to go and assault the Stag Lord's fortress. Everything that stands in our way is gone. Basically, all we've got left to do is, you know, defeat the Stag Lord. But just before we do that, we're going to cash in a little Tartuccio quest and we're going to level up Amiri the dangers don't frighten me because we're going to take her with us so first of all we'll talk to Keston Garris about Tartuccio and um, all we need to do is tell him we failed to capture Tartuccio well this is not the best outcome but I think it will be good enough for Jamandi take this as a reward for your help I'll send word to Restoff and let them consider how they might return the favor so a lot of gold a lot of experience. Once again, I thank you for your help. I'll remain here until my men recover from their wounds. Meanwhile, we'll help guard the trading post and fight off any bandits should they return. Good luck in all your plans and endeavors. Thanks, Keston. So, we're going to be taking Amiri with us. Um, so we're swapping out um, Ragonga for Amiri. So, let's go Barbarian. And uh, we're going to do nothing but boost her strength. We're going to allocate points as they have been. And we gain another Rage Power. Now, basically, the choice is, do we take Deadly Accuracy? And this this is the the main reason for taking Lethal Stance is the, the later um, uh, powers in my in my mind. Because Lethal Stance doesn't stack with, with Bard Song. Although, you know, obviously, you're not going to have your Bard Song up all the time. Um, so do we take Deadly Accuracy, which will increase our chance of confirming critical hits, or do we take Animal Fury, which will give us a secondary attack? It's a bite attack at minus five, so um, it's sort of six and a half a dozen. Really, um, you know, we'll be taking one or the other, you know, either four or, or, or six. And I think since this, you know... We're not at a stage of, of buffing lots and lots and lots. Um, yet, we can... Um, but the, Okay, we'll take Animal Fury, because I will demonstrate how, how um, uh, Amiri here um, bites. Lack of decisiveness there. So, off we go. Now, I've, uh, I've rested, I've memorized uh, various spells, and I've put some stuff in the stash. We got this off uh, Garuk. This is Amulet of Mighty Fist plus one. This means that when you punch things and bite things, um, they will uh, count as a natural weapon uh, as weapon plus one. So we are. This was to remind me that I was going to give this to Amiri, meaning her bite will now be at uh, plus one unarmed attacks and natural weapons. So yeah, that's well worth doing if you've got a bite attack. The rest of the stuff is just storage. Now, we're going to go to the Staglor's Fort via Thorn Fort because way, way back in episode 2 or so, um, episode 3, when I visited Thorn Fort, I deliberately didn't poison, try to poison the Staglor's wine, and that was because I thought that the chance of, of passing the check was pretty low. So... We beetle off down here. There we go. Thorn Ford. Ten whole hours. And hopefully we'll be able to do this. It's actually... He's very defeatable without doing this if you do all the preparatory work. Right? But if, if you only get some of that preparation done, this can be a big different because if you poison his wine he starts combat sickened and if he's sickened we we get some some bonuses i'll i'll show them off when um when when we fight so i'm just going to save and Lindsay was called for inspire competence perception law and nature check pass succeeded the perception check wine for the stag lord don't you dare steal it, fools. I'll make sure you rot. That's Cressley writing, I believe. And poison the wine. There we go. 
So now we can head back off up here. There's not really anything else to do in this map. We are never going to come back here. Um, no, wait, maybe we will. But um, we're not going to be coming back anytime soon. So with the with the wine poison, that's basically the final um, element set. So if we're trying to avoid that, yeah, we don't want to do any of these random encounters. And hmm, there's a we can try and reveal this now. Adventures That's what I'd hope to do. We're going to visit that after we've done Staglord. More strength fades. And we're pretty um, <laughs> tired at this stage. So uh, this is this is because we took the long, the roundabout route. If we hadn't uh, taken that, we would have been able to to do this no problem. But what we're going to do is. Um, uh, we're gonna assign somebody to um to um to cook and um hopefully we'll be able to um make a nice meal <laughs> before uh, before this so let's go ahead and uh, um make some sweet pancakes so that we've got a nice movement speed bonus for the day it's always good to be able to move faster and uh, we'll assign um, Harem there to, um, to lend a hand and off we go hey book kid <laughs> want to hear a story about hunting a saber-toothed owlbear that was a good hunt a saber-toothed owlbear <laughs> but Amiri owlbears don't have teeth they have beaks. So I'm glad that little conversation appeared because I, I think you can. That gives a sense that Amiri is uh, rather more boastful than she is truthful. Um, no food, but um, camouflage successful, and uh, prepared the excellent sweet pancakes. So we can now go ahead and enter. Just for for note. Um, We've got uh, uh, ten days and four day, four hours remaining before um, we cross over in, into that over thirty days um, part of the part of Act One, meaning we don't get our plus two dueling sword, which is uh, going to go in the bank. <laughs> but uh, part of the intention of, of planning out and demoing this route is just to show quite how much can be done. In, in Act this One, is my time to shine. Uh, even meeting that that timeline, so we're gonna. If you look, this is a big map, and uh, we meet uh, an old friend or an old now, enemy. This is a surprise. I'm on my way to pay the Stag Lord a visit, and I don't expect it to be a friendly one. How about we go together? I'd appreciate some help during the fight. So yes, she's rebelling. She's about to go try and kill the Stag Lord with her gang of five. I use my head finally. I grew up in Restov, choking on hypocrisy. The Aldori make like these brave, noble defenders of justice. But they're afraid to do so much as bark at Shatova. The Stag Lord? He seemed different. Mighty, menacing, like a huge wave rolling toward the shore. He said he'd build a new kingdom here. And anyone brave enough to fight under his banner would get a new life. But now? Now he just sits in his fortress, drinking away and plumbing his bedroom pillows for s some queen of his. Though, I can't say if she's real or just a symptom of his drunken delirium. This is really important here. Like, you know, we're gonna, you know, infer the answer to the mystery of the Stag Lord um, throughout this, this, this chapter of the, throughout this finale of the chapter of the game, because there's more here than meets the eye. I trusted him. In his name, I almost got Svetlana killed. The only living soul who's been kind to me. I was wrong, and I want to right that wrong with my own hands. 
I will free these lands of Staglord. So, what's your plan? What's the plan? A fight's a fight. They'll let me and anyone with me inside the fort. No questions asked. Once we're in there, we call out the Stag Lord and tell him it's time to demonstrate his royal ambitions. <laughs> Which, you know, as a plan, is pretty shoddy. We are not going to be doing that. Um, direct option, direct attack might not be the best option. Fine. Just don't take long. Yeah. Okay. So, instead of direct assault, we're first going to go right. And there are a couple of thylacines here. Who we are going to um, a simple smile goes a long way. quite easily take care of. I'm just going to put up some long-term buffs. Um, we it's time to act. So that's basically the long-term stuff. The There's some I am your shield. thylacines down right here, Since which are hate. not a challenge at all anymore. Do not falter. <laughs> Onwards. Stay behind me. <laughs> well, if you miss, they are right. <laughs> go. So the reason for coming down here really is this. Oops. Because it looks like uh, a body, perhaps tortured, bandits prisoner, punished for some misdeed, thrown over the wall into this trench. Which is not very nice. And that's all there is over this side. Now, for some reason, and I don't really understand it, over on the other side is a huge number of undead. You know, zombies, to be precise, and uh, zombies are resistant to uh, to I, I believe non-slashing weapons. So there's a there's a chance here that we could take a a, a bit of bit of damage. And they're in they're in three groups. Each one is successively harder than the next. Adventures are exciting. So you can see the reduced piercing damage because um, it's not um, uh, it's not slashing damage. Basically, we're gonna see about doing this sensibly. Any last wishes? This will hurt. It's gonna be more coming in here. Tear them apart! Okay, let's just see whether we can take down this one. Hammer mm -hmm. over here. Everyone Stand else, down. maybe take a shot. And let's deal with this one without a Mary getting caught. You should have run. You offend me. Strike. Oh. Okay, that's the easy group. Now for the slightly harder one. The dangers don't Which frighten we'll me. see over here, because there's enough of them that they can actually wrap around you, which is um, just quite. Adventures call to them. How would you say? Quite dangerous. Sweet smile, like a gentle voice, don't hesitate. and kind words will help me win their hearts. Who will prevail? And if that fails, I'll do my <laughs> Critical hit for one. So you can see there's a lot of them up here. And including one zombie lord who's uh, far more dangerous. So we'll see how this works out. Do not falter! Yeah. I feel relatively confident about this one. Onwards. The next one we're gonna use some crowd control. Stay behind me. Okay. Let us strike as one. 
and Repent. see if you can take down that. Your time is over. It's not great having a Mary here attacking the wrong thing because she's targeted, but the zombie lord is almost down, so we might actually just. Well, if he doesn't die beforehand. This is where I step in. Don't hold back. Oh no, he's down. So, so we'll clear this left-hand side. Your life ebbs low. And we'll just. This will hurt. Focus down. Away, you rascal! Ouch! Yeah, that's annoying. Bring it! <laughs> Go. One, two, three. Stand down. And stay behind me. You should have run. They go down. I'm writing you out of us. So that really is over reliance on on <laughs> hoping everything works out to fine. But what I didn't want to do was drop some grease that was then going to get in the way Friendship lasts forever. of this. So first off, this is really good. We're just going to level up Melly, and this is um, important level because our cat is going to get bigger. So first off, we'll put Charisma up as her primary casting stat, and then we'll just flat level up everything as I've established it. There we go. Uh, what have we missed? Use magic device. Um, and we get our first bit of fey magic. These one, two, three, four, five, six, eight additional spells, every other level from fourth level. At fourth level, we can pick a level one arcane illusion or uh, enchantment spell and there's two real options here for this character obviously with a different one you can do whatever you would like but those options are one the safety option which is to give her vanish meaning should anything bad happen you can cast a level two you know disappear or the more offensive option which is color spray now um uh this will always be a level 2 spell for us, meaning it's heightened by one level. Um, so its DC has a bonus of 2 rather than a bonus of 1, as it, if it was a level 1 spell. Um, and the good thing about Color Spray is that so long as the enemy fails their save, it will always do something. So it, it, even if they've got lots and lots of hit die, as long as they're not immune to um, mind-affecting spells, um, they will always be stunned for one round. And a one round stun is, is very powerful since this is a cone. Because if something's stunned, you know, it's not doing anything. And uh, being able to stun, say, two enemies for one round might not sound like very much, but it is. So we're going to take this, and it, we might not get much use out of it, but I'd rather take it than vanish, I guess. I feel like you're taking something useful. These are the ones that I'm looking forward to. <laughs> and we almost, almost got our wild shape. But uh, not quite. Anyway, there we go. And we'll, uh, we'll complete that. And you will notice that uh, <laughs> the cat just magically grows in size. Is there trouble? So, what we need to do is we just need to... Now you see me? See these now zombies here. And I've got a, a plan. And that plan involves using a spell I have not used very much, which is our Fey spell here, Entanglement. And I'm going to get Lindsay to drop a grease there as well. So a we're just going to actually let's just get everyone in position before we and cast. So they walked on. So we can simultaneously do this. No time for idling. So <laughs> entanglement has got an enormous area of what effect to the point that it's quite awkward to um, to use. 
But the reason for for using see we now see everyone. The reason for using entanglement is it um it's difficult terrain. So things in difficult terrain are slowed and slow things just gives us a lot more time to deal with this. So we can we can take some pot shots. But basically it's about thinning out the crowd. You offend me. Oh, a whole a whole three damage. And hopefully some of them will fall in this grease patch as well. So there we go. And they emerge out one at a time and we can just splat them. Especially relevant for these zombie lords. You deserved it. Your time who are, is over. You're really quite dangerous. Do not you if you encounter them in part of a a large group. Away, you rascal. Any last we wishes? Even bring harem up here. So Onwards. Let's just what smash these. Bring it. How many more have we got? Oh uh, yeah, see, quite a few. So the other option for this fight is just do it like the previous two, but you know you can quite easily get you know a wrap around of of zombies, <laughs> and uh, you start taking damage, and it's it's not it's not a difficult fight as in you know there's likelihood that you're gonna party wipe. It's difficult to do without taking damage. Let us strike at once. And this is a lot. See, in fact, Valerie took a bit of damage there. This is a long. It's not a. I guess. Yes, you could refer to it as a dungeon in the in the general sense, but it's just a long encounter. Hence, why I only cast these long-lasting buffs. <laughs> Let's bring Alice over here so they can continue to do no damage. You deserved it. You deserved it. Huh. Yeah, well, here comes the rush. It's the zombie dinner rush. Right. <laughs> okay, you two. You offend me. And what what's what's quite good is that they they're grease. Grease, their, sorry, their reflex save is good enough that they do free themselves eventually, and they they shuffle over here like a conveyor belt for us to fill full of holes and cut their arms off. Um, just so you can see, <laughs> this is um, from from the um, uh, just being a, a <laughs> zombie, and this is <laughs> so uh, yeah, but. Um, yeah, so they, they've got some. They've only got 12 hit points, but the the issue is they're hard to crowd control. Like with a with regular stuff, they can be crowd controlled like this, and they they don't do very much damage, and their base attack bonus is really low. But you know, the more enemies you're facing off against, the more chance of them rolling 20s. And 20s means taking damage, and damage is bad. Your time is over. How many more have we got? One. Let's hope it frees itself. Can we sneak in here? Yeah. So we'll just pick up this stuff here. So we get this uh, nice heavy pick plus one. And um, I'm just going to grab this stuff. 723 gold. That is a lot of gold hidden there. This bit here basically points out that these buildings, these old buildings, you know, over here and there are a few more in here, you know, indicate that there's been a lot of stuff going on here over the years. Now, might as well just leave this one. Doesn't look like it's ever gonna pass its save. And it's quite awkward having all that uh, CC stuff, crowd control stuff around because it actually makes our travel a little bit awkward to avoid it all. I do like this animation, but it's 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 messy. 
Uh, let's see whether we can... There's a perception check there. There we go. Um, the Taladin Warrior's dog tag. A little bit of extra cash for us. And finally, I'll just come over. Yeah, so we can just see, so we can clear the map. And this is what I want to go for. Just make sure we're not near the near the grease. There we go. And it's not it's not dangerous as a as a single zombie. The leopard should just kill it just like that. And um, yeah, that was a, I believe another dog tag. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so instead of taking the main gate, which is here, we're going to sneak in the side and we get a mobility check or an athletics check. And if I remember rightly, if you fail the mobility check, nothing bad happens. It's like you just fall down. If you fail the athletics check, it takes four hours and you alert the entire camp. So... I'm going to attempt the mobility check. This is Lindsay here. Yeah, we can boost this up to um, uh, 13. So um, as far as I know, we're not going to be able to get anybody any higher. So that's 10, 12 maximum. Yeah, looks like it's Lindsay or no one. So, Anything is possible. It's competence. Let's see what you can do, Lindsay. Applause, please. <sighs> And that's quite uh, that's quite nice to do because um, it's a, it's a yeah. bit risky. We'll grab some food and some herbs. Now we're just going to chat to Akiros here, who you might recognise, and we get this um, uh, diplomacy check in order to um, try and get him to give up on the Stag Lord. Um, and we get this lovely view out over the tusk water. This is this is looking south, I believe. Out over the lake, and this will be our our barony soon. Anyway, thankfully succeeded. So basically, um, Akiros, this see here, when we met him at at Thorn Ford, uh, we failed to come to an agreement, which which you can't do. Um, but now. He has agreed to fight the Stag Lord for us. If only everything was that easy. Yes, I hope you won't regret that decision too. If we don't find ourselves acting like clowns. Now we got some tough fights coming up. And I'll talk. There we go. I'll talk through what we've got. We've got quite a tough group here, including an alchemist. We've got the gate guards who are easy got a really tough group over here because they got a bandit brawler we've got a semi tough group here we've got the stag lords guys we've got a group here that's not so bad and we've got two like named npcs who are super tough um we're gonna go along here and then around here the biggest danger is that if we, if we let any of them escape they will alert the stag lord which we don't want to happen until we are absolutely ready now you see me no. no, you don't. So see this guy here. This is this is um, these barbarians can do a lot of damage if we're if we're not careful. There's also a bard and um, an alchemist. So we're gonna start using some of these some of these buffs that we've been saving up. Friendship lasts forever. Friendship lasts forever. And we can use our wand, lesser extend meta magic wand, to mean that um, our enlarged person lasts a whole eight minutes, which is excellent. The uh, the other stuff, not so much. And what else? Crotus awaits us. Where are you going, Lindsay? Don't mess this up for everyone. 
Okay. The world is full of wonder. Anything is possible. So mm -hmm. we just need to check. Can we charge? The end draws near. The end draws near. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. I am your shield. And yes. Whoops. <laughs> so. Charge, charge. Patience. No patience at all, Harem. Charging. <laughs> Done with waiting. What troubles you? And a little bit of buzz song. I don't tolerate oh, So they are humans and they're all under level um all under level five. Or I should say okay, they're all four or below. So they're all susceptible to days. Strike. We're gonna hopefully kill this one. Days this one, block the bard in, take out this one. If we if we're not careful, they'll run and alert the stag lord. However, if we are careful, <laughs> not quite. There we go. And the alchemist is the most dangerous one here because he's going to throw these bombs. But hopefully. Go there. Don't hold back. Okay. So the important thing to do Onward. is not to let them escape. So everyone here is going to attack the bard, and Seriously, everyone here is going to daze a bandit in the hope. Has somebody been hideous laughter? Ugh. Okay, unfortunately we killed this one, and so it's a matter of, yeah, there we go, and we'll reposition for the next bit. We're just going to grab this, ah, come on Lindsay, because it's got this uh, wand of natural armor. Which we're a little bit, a um, little bit short on. So, who was I going to give this to? There we go, Lindsay. And we've lost a little bit of health. Yes, I'm still here. Let's heal up before the next encounter, which is these bandits I'll just down right here. Back. And it's the same, the same strategy, except much easier because. I'm listening. They are what you want. Considerably easier. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Was lost in thought. We should move. This will hurt. Adventures are exciting. Just letting the ink drop. To victory. <laughs> Your life. What we don't want slow. to do is have these ones come in. You deserve it. So <laughs> Alarm must warn the stag lord, but it's... Yeah, well, they're level four, but they can't stand against the day's crew. There we go. Now we've actually got a tough fight. I really want to be careful here because there's a, a bandit brawler who will just turn you into Swiss cheese. And an alchemist. So this guy here. Level 5 barbarian. So I'm going to see. Yeah, it's awkward because there's just rubbish in the way. Do we have anyone? No. Um, well. Lindsay the Magnificent? Lindsay the Illustrious? Something more simple like Lindsay the Great? Yes, there we go. And maybe <laughs> that will thin them out a little bit. Stand down. Last wishes. No dazing. Shooting. I hope he doesn't uh This is where I step in. Thrown. Okay, who have we got? Serves 
you right. Mate, I would not run forward like that if I were you. Look at these guys. Okay, there we go. Just gonna rearrange. Yeah. Yeah, so it can't be dazed. But can be colour spread. Oh, this this bandit is really annoying because we put this this grease here. Let's you see if I can deal me. with them. Yeah, blinded. This is bad. Just pull back. So fortunately, because we're a tiefling, we have um, uh, um, fire resistance. But all of you Stay deal with that. Me. If you would please do so. And I've managed to anger the wolves, which I very much didn't want to do. Let's see whether we can pull back here. Everyone attack. And hopefully <laughs> this grease will prove its worth. Your time is over. Really need to get Do that days in. Tear them apart. What a waste. How long are we looking at? Okay. Bit of improvisation. Oh, wait, but we've basically got it now. <laughs> How long have you got before you're cutting into bits? How? What's the AC? Oh, it's because I, I let him cast Bark Skin, Cat's Grace, and Shield. So, <laughs> Dexterity Boost plus 4 Shield bonus, uh, Bark Skin bonus. Uh, yeah, so, um, against an AC of 28 that is, and mutagen as well so kill your alchemist early if you want a chance in hell of hitting them Do not water. come on wolfie and well they're dead but Valerie is in the grease. Okay. We um there's a there's a check up here which will take like four hours to move those boxes. We're gonna save that for later. This is my time instead, to shine. Instead. We're gonna progress to the next encounter without angering all this stuff here. And I might just uh, too late. So let's just go here. Okay. Again, this is quite dangerous because we've got an illusionist who we really don't want to get blinded by. We've got bandits. The alarm is here. And so we've got to make sure we leave at least two alive so that we can daze one. They're all going for the cat, so we're probably going to go there, there. Where are you going for? You deserved it. Send Stand out some down. some dazers. And welcome, Amiri. Become as dust. She would dodge that guy. So, of course, as a mage, she's got higher will save, but as a clownish computer AI, he's very good at uh, color spraying his own people. So, and let's deal with them because blind enemies. Well. 
Okay. Done. Your time is over. But I don't want this thing to come back and attack us here. So let's just Away, select rascal. someone to daze. Your life ebbs now. Take down this one without wandering over here too much. Uh, you can't warn the stag lord because you are sort of stunned and blinded and everything. What's what's up with the cat? Blind. <laughs> For a few seconds anyway. Fortunately it doesn't last that long. Alright, there we go. Easy peasy. And everyone's pathfinding has worked out really well. <laughs> so, uh, the next thing of interest. Yes, yeah, I just wait for the save to chunta. It's this cute little giant owl bear. Uh, one of the most lethal animals of all. And we actually get the option to try and have this owl bear fight with us. And uh, we're just going to leave there. We're just going to get Lindsay to go there. And uh, let's see whether we can pass this law nature check. We failed. We haven't managed to calm it, which is okay. Um, we don't need it to help in the fight. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to lock the cage securely. Because if we don't do that, the owlbear will come and attack us. So how much do we fail? A roll of two. That's unfortunate. So we've got uh, another group of relatively tough the dangers don't enemies me. here. There's a cleric who can cast whole person and obviously you. can cast here. cleric -y spells like bless. This awaits us. Well. But what we're going to do is try and get one of them to explode. I'll take care of it. And everyone else. Friendship lasts forever. Adventure. Come at me, I dare you. Okay, one. one. Day's crew, see if you can get that bandit. That bandit cleric, I should say. Dazed. Mary, take a hit. Let's get rid of them and then clear out these archers. Perfect. So let's see whether we can deal with this. Uh, we got a bit of. <laughs> no trouble. Now we've actually got a, a difficult fight. And over here, we can, your we can see Dovan from Nisrock and Orcs. And you might remember Dovan from Nisrock as um, uh, being rather upset that uh, the building he was, in, he was instructed to burn had no people in it. So I think from that, you can tell that he is a really unpleasant piece of work. He is a level 4 rogue level 2 fighter. 53 HP, respectable AC. And next to him is Orcs, who I I think is supposed to be sort of like simple-minded. <laughs> he's got a big... Yes, he's got an intelligence of 3. Um, you know, the idea that, that he's got a big club, but uh, not much else. Great club, so... This is the main issue here. He does 1d10 plus 17 damage. He's got two attacks around because he's uh, level 6. If he hits us, that's really going to hurt. And if he crits, we're going to be exploding. He, um, he's he got bark skin up or he, 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 can, he will use it. Um, so really quite tough. 
So we've got to be really careful here. And the way in which we're going to be really careful I am never wrong. Goes a long way. is we are going to check our buffs. Everywhere I go, a pool hangs over everything. A pool hangs no, over people everything. Say it was better before I arrived. We're going to recast Bless. Done with waiting. I am yours to command. The end draws near. And no time for this can backfire because my skills. Um, Dovan can drink a like potion of in, of of invisibility, and once we've crowd controlled is him, he's like invisible, lying Just on the floor, the which is quite awkward. Adventures but are exciting. Let's just take a risk. And Lindsay was uh, called the I just want to check the range there. Water. Yeah, that's right. There. What troubles you? And we will. Hmm. Anything is possible. I don't like that very a much. Let's cancel. Adventures call to them. Come forward a bit. Sight betrays them. Friendship lasts forever. I wrote it like I saw it. And that's what I wanted, so... No time for idling. No time for idling. One. And Lindsay was called for. And two. And then our so, slowed, you can see... Hey, hey, wait for me. Whoops. It's casting, um... Invisibility. But they've, um... Dovin has passed. Orcs is down, which is fine. Is there trouble? Let's pull back. What troubles you? Let's make sure Valerie is in position. And we can just take some pot shots Stand here. Down. So he's invisible and uh, drinking potions. <laughs> Any last wish here but a footnote in our story. Blood, sweet, bright blood. <laughs> Drinking his bark skin potion. And running here very slowly and falling over. That's what I was waiting for. Okay. We're going to attempt waste. to deal Don't with this. Your time is over. this and we're going to go rage. Yeah. That. That sneak attack. 3d6 plus 1d6 plus 13. Horrid. But. Um, we, we killed him um, in one go. I'll check out the log because that was uh, pretty brutal. Anyway, he um, he asked to make a deal and he says he'll show you where his secret cache is. And I, I don't think, I, I, yeah, if I remember rightly, we can't access this loot unless we let him go. Um, but he is a reasonable man who willfully embarked on a path of atrocities. We're going to get rid of him. It's a nasty piece of work. So, let me just see the log there. Um, a Mary Critton for 41. And Harem hit as well. So, yeah. Punishing. Away, you rascal! Let's actually try and get a hit in here before he kills. Oh, dear. How much health has he got? Let's kind of blast him. AC is 23. It's not so bad. Orcs is still down and dead. Okay. Get to heal up. Because likewise, this guy can do some serious damage too. And quite like to be healed before he comes and hits Valerie. And shall I save that for the Stag Lord or... Well... Yeah, but we've, we've chipped away at his health enough that 
uh, do I have any bombs we could throw at him for comedic effect? No. <laughs> but he's almost at the edge of the grease patch, so that'll be it. What's his reflex though? Sorry, I keep bringing up stuff. Yeah, he's got low dex, so he's very easily greased. Well, well, all our buffs wear off. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Right. Okay, okay, we're ready for this. Amiri, you've almost used all your rage. Become as dust. Let's hope he doesn't. There we go. That's all I wanted. Um, we'll have to, to clear this later. We'll wait for this to expire. But um, now's the time to um, to fight the Stag Lord. And maybe you've 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 gathered that this isn't as hard as um, uh, you might think. Just because <sighs> the rest of this uh, uh, little Stag Lord camp is not as hard as it uh, might look. And your shield. A lot of that's because I've got a plan. So. Um, how are we doing for for blur? So blurry cat. How are we doing for big? We're okay. The world is full of wonder. Patience. We've used up our our bless, but um, we can just give Valerie. And what we're going to do, we've got basically one grease left. And what do you know? A wand of grease as well. We can drop a couple there. You can you can stack grease till the uh, proverbial cows come home. Feels a bit cheap, but I'll put two there just to <laughs> make this uh, uh, easy. Uh, acid more. Bang. Uh, anything else we can cast? No. That'll do. Let's trigger the fight. Adventures call to them. Yes, I'm still here. Just letting the ink dry. Okay. Here they are. Call the Stag Lord. What wretched wine did you bring me? My stomach is twisting up. So yeah, that was our poisoning. They must have got the wine down here quickly These because <laughs> we only just did that. So. Our friends here, Akiros and Kresli, is going to be coming in. They're going to take care of all of this. Um, this is why our Grease is here. Stop anything coming around to us. And meanwhile, Kitty here and Harem are going to take down the... Ouch. Let's, let's bone shaker him. And I'll let this play out because it's quite hard to keep track of these. So, reflex save made on the wolf. Bring a Miri in. Whoops. Bard song. Uh, these are susceptible to, to daze, but we don't. We're not going to need that. Bone shaker goes off. That's very nice. True strike. True strike, Aaron, please. Dead. Cat attacks. Ooh, nice, nice saves, guys. Attack. You should have run. Days. You offend me. Come back a little bit. True strike and attack. Yeah. 
So these are our buddies here. They're gonna come and dig us out this mess we've got ourselves into down here. Right. Harem. I'd appreciate if you kill the stag lord. He's almost dead. There we go. Almost there. What a waste. Tear them apart. If you could all just okay. there we go. Oh, after so long, I learned to stand. I oh. <laughs> So it's a nice portrait there. Um but um this is this is important. The Staglord clutches something resembling a charm in his bloody fingers, seemingly placing the last of his hope into it. You hear a snapping sound, then a dull sigh bursts from the stag lord's chest. And, uh, um, you know, we see the good in everyone, don't we? Um, except Dovin, we, <laughs> we, we weren't going to let him go. But the stag lord, it seems like something strange is going on here. Um, so, um, we're going to, um, I, I know the pain you've endured in your life, but that doesn't excuse the atrocities you've committed. Spare me your compassion, your judgment. I... I'll sleep now. I'll wait for her. My dream. So yes, I'll wait for her, my dream. You know, who else do we know who's been uh, seeing a woman in their dreams? Or, or seeing a woman who no one else can, can see? Strike is one. It's dead. There we go. I forgot to I forgot to show the effect of um of the um uh sickness. But um you can see that, that we were we were always gonna be hitting there. He casts he casts a lot of buffs on himself and they're auto scripted, so if you can take him down within that period, it's you know, game over for him. It's just this guy here, and <laughs> we can actually we should just be able to poke down like that. There we go. <laughs> the range, like, that is a very long spear. And that's it. Staglord defeated, and very pleased to have been able to do this, you know, whole bit in one. I'm going to um, uh, pause the video now. I think that is a great spot to end. And the next video, I'll go through the loot. We'll go into the Stag Lord's uh, fort, and it'll be a much more sort of, you know, showing what we can find here. Okay, see you in the next video.